How you doing everybody, I'm Strangest Amethyst and welcome back to the alpha demo of Neo. So, after a fair few deaths, we've made it to the second shrine. Now I made my way along this passageway, which is indeed where I need to go next, but I didn't quite realise that you can safely jump off this cliff. There's a couple plateaus along the way that split up the drop. So, for quite a while, I went in a completely different direction and kind of, sort of, got a bit lost. A couple happy accidents did happen on the way though, so in the interest of getting to the new stuff as quickly as possible, here's an abbreviated version of what happened next. First, I hopped down these three steps just to the right of that cliff. It didn't take too long for me to realise that I'd backtracked. I thought the time had come to challenge the guys in the little guard post I'd somehow managed to sneak past in the last video. On my second try, I took them down. I grabbed myself a bow and netted a sick headshot, 200 XP right there. I then strode confidently through the clearing at the end of the pathway, only to find zombies! Yes, zombies! Take them down, take them down right now, oh gosh! After some wandering and looting, I walked down a bit further and discovered a ladder, at the bottom of which I discovered that I'd unlocked a shortcut to the first shrine. Excellent! After fighting my way back and picking up some new armor on the way, I finally realized that you could safely make the drop from this cliff and hop down, making my way towards the residence. Ah, last try as I might, I could not get another headshot like that one I got right after getting the bow. I can only imagine I got a really lucky critical hit or something. In any case, this is where we're going next, the residence. Uh, we've got to get into the town, and to do that, we need to raid this poor guy's house. I'm sure this is going to go swimmingly, we'll be in and out, nothing at all could go wrong with this. Just taking things super slowly. Checking there aren't two separate gank squads on both sides of the entryway. Shockingly enough, all seems well. The peeps down this way haven't noticed me just yet, so I decide to avoid conflict wherever possible. At the start at least, you're only guaranteed three health restoring rations whenever you respawn at a shrine, so you don't want to have to use one early on. Alright, they got guard patrolling. Just... Yep, no, I can't be seen here, I'm fine. Just bumping into the door. Oh, look at that. Flawless stealth. Flawless stealth. Agent 47 and Sam Fisher combined could not do that. Yes, this is fine. I'll just walk towards the spooky foreboding mist. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are not just fighting humans. We are fighting the Oni. He's got a sword. He looks tough as nails. And I'm dead. Okay. Very well. Yeah. I did recognise that odd fog from the zombies that I fought earlier. It seems to mark wherever you're going to face some sort of supernatural opponent. But I didn't think they were going to sick a full-on demon on you quite yet. Uh, I thought it was just going to be more zombies or some sort of smaller only, but... You know what? You just gotta go back and you gotta try again. Let's have a look in here. Ah yes, this guy. Now, I took quite a long time to actually attack him because I was wondering if anything would happen if I left him to what he was doing. To me, it looked like he was picking the lock on that chest, and I considered maybe if I let him get on with it, he'd unlock the chest, and I could do the honourable thing and take him out before stealing whatever's in there for myself. The chest opens just fine anyway, so maybe he was really intently trying to figure out how to lock the chest instead, but I suppose we'll never know. Go for another headshot. Alright, fair enough. Helms aren't just extra armor rating, they do actually deflect shots to the head. I like that, I'll give him that one. Was that a dodge roll? Oh yes it was! You may have noticed in the last video I was doing a lot of strange maneuvering to avoid hits. I have no idea why, even though I quickly discovered you hold X to run, I couldn't find the button to perform dodge rolls, which is just to tap X. Basically, just swapping the control scheme from Dark Souls from Circle to X. It got to the point where I honestly thought you couldn't do them at all. I have no idea how I didn't think to tap X. Maybe I did it earlier on and it didn't quite register at the time. I don't know. Better late than never, I suppose. Actually, another correction whilst I'm at it. The same friend who recommended me the game, having seen the video I posted yesterday, let me know that you're supposed to have whetstones drop fairly commonly and those allow you to repair your weapons when you use them. I'll bet I'll check my inventory next time I play this to find I've got loads of them but I just hadn't had a look at my items in a little while. Long story short, there is indeed a way to repair your weapons. Alright, round two! Duel me, knave! Slover de Gullion! 
Yeah, in addition to being a really good castle building slash medieval military strategy game, Stronghold Crusader was great for teaching you some ye olde insults. Anyway, back on topic. Once you get over the shock that you've got to fight this huge glowing monstrosity of a miniboss, he isn't too bad to fight in my opinion. His attacks do a lot of damage if you get caught in that big slice and dice combo of his you're most likely a goner, but he doesn't seem to rush you all that often to get you into his attack range. Therefore, keeping your distance, moving in once he gets locked into an attack and whacking him with a few high stance attacks will most likely serve you well. As soon as he spawned, I was thinking, can I get him outside because this room is tiny and I'm going to get my ass kicked. Luckily enough, you can indeed draw him outside. I'm playing it safe here, sticking in the mid stance. It's a bit less damaging, but it's quicker. Mostly thinking that he could come up with some huge, ultimate, mega kill, retaliatory attack out of nowhere. And if that was going to happen, I didn't want to be locked into a big attack animation when it did. And I've switched to the high stance. Right, there does come a point where you think to yourself, right, okay, fair enough, we're going in, we're going to risk it. Whittling him down slowly but surely. Oh, and that's all she wrote. Lovely. Just hoovering up some loot. So, searching the place where the demon mini boss spawned reveals a key. A key to that gate. Well, not ideal. So I'm just taking it slow. I can see the shrine. I'm thinking there's got to be some environmental hazard that's going to trip off. There's going to be some boulders out of nowhere. Something. Something to kill me here. No. My own silliness did me in here. I don't know what I was planning to do there. The gap seems to be one of those ones you might be able to roll over. I think that may have been what I was going for, but I just didn't press the button in time. Something like that. I'm not fighting any zombies, not at this point, not at this point, not when the shrine's right there. Okay, run, run, run! Aha, yes! Oh, that's right, that's right, you despawn, you go back where you started, my friend. Ah, oh, there we go, the third shrine, we've made it. Alright, my next batch of closing thoughts. I'm definitely liking the Oni slash Yokai monsters, like the zombies and whatnot. I did like fighting that big guy, in fact, I did think that maybe... The fight with him could have been a bit more intense if he used his distance closing attacks a little more often, um, but I'm sure he's intended as an introduction to those kinds of monsters, and he definitely works in that respect. Now I've said that, whatever's coming next is going to absolutely annihilate me. In any case, I'm still enjoying Neo, I've been Strangest Amethyst, and thank you very much for watching.